Hello everybody, my name is Antoine, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Italy. Let's continue on with our war against Germans. Uh, you know, we'll continue on from where we last left off. So, uh, where's Romania? Um, I mean, they're here. Their army's mostly up there. What we're going to do is we're going to hang out in Hungary right now. Um, are any of you, like, super, super good attack generals? Got, like, a nice 8 war score peace deal. So if Afghanistan would actually just surrender, they would not accept the 50, um, that's fine. Uh, these guys are just, they're occupying basically all the territory we need them to occupy. So thanks to Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, um, you know, let's make sure none of you, actually Russia's a great power again? Oh, you kicked out Sweden, okay. Yeah, that's, that's definitely going to stop German influence in a lot of places just due to, uh, peace deals, being at war. So that's actually wonderful for us. Reinforce, attack, um, we're reinforcing down here. Germans are going through Czechoslovakia, which is definitely an issue. This actually, this battle is not going well. Um, if somebody can come and reinforce me, that would be, oh, 17, where was that? 17, where are you guys retreating to? Uh, enemy, enemy, yeah, sure, let's do it. People have agreed. Um, so, who are we allied to now? We're actually... Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong person. Um, Armenia, Hungary, France, Denmark. I mean, it says that they're allies, but they're not actually allies. So, it's kind of lying about that. Um, Peru? Do you want to get involved in this war? They would not accept. Fine, whatever. I didn't want your help anyway. Galicia's at war with Poland? Is Poland actually not in the main war? Okay, so I guess we're gonna go get ourselves involved with the Polish war. Um, Ukraine. I need you to come help against Poland. Look how many troops you... Oh my god, Ukraine. 151 brigades! That is actually insanity. Yeah, but we'll get the Ukrainians. Oh, no, negative 9.1. I don't even know where that was. Uh, oh, it's probably this battle up here. Yeah. Kind of saw that one going south. So let's reinforce up here. Um, you go to Salzburg. Also, we should have like... Giant army just kind of hanging out down here. 66,000. Are you just 90,000 infantry? You are. How about you just like march straight to Berlin? Um, just march straight there. It'll be fine. I, I believe me. How could it possibly go wrong just to march on the enemy capital? Okay, so this battle is still kind of being fought. This is going to be a major battle. Um, Afghanistan, like, you should just, yeah, we'll cut you down the size. And we are at 30 war score. We're, go we're going to need, I mean, we're going to actually, we need, like, all of it, because we can't, we'll lose 150 prestige, we don't press our, uh, humiliate CB. They have no cavalry, we have no, actually, even no artillery here, which actually kind of being, is the issue, I think. Um, we could send in a, like, an actual army. How was that battle? Oh, oh, come on now. That was not a lost battle. Anyway. That's kind of BS. Because maybe I didn't give them enough time to, like, do something? I don't know. But either way, um, I don't want to be near New Zealand. Who wants to be near New Zealand? We'll attack their giant army. Um, we'll take a, you know, we'll take a few losses, but I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll send in this guy to actually send in some backline support. Oh no, that's the German army I'm looking at. No, I should be looking at this army up north. There's going to be some huge, huge battles very, very soon. Um, 
I want you two guys to march over here. Um, how about we actually just reinforce here? Yeah, so you guys march north. There's, there's so many Germans. If anything, there is an unbelievable amount of Germans. Um, like, you're just all infantry, so you just go kill this all infantry stack. You are not all infantry. Like, you're an actual army, so how about you attack this 55 st stack? Because you'll actually have, like, planes and people to reinforce you. Yes, we're winning some small engagements, which is nice. Um, we'll go up here. Are you... We just gotta make sure who is who. Yeah, there's a lot of men. Um, yeah, so Ukraine... Did I not call them into the war against Poland? We are not the war leader in the war... Belgium's the war leader against... That doesn't even make sense, but okay, we're the number one military power in the world. I guess we're just not the war leader. Who would have thought that? Um, we still have like 1.8 million pounds in the bank, so we're fine economically. There's a lot of men. When do you leave? You leave on the f August 3rd? So that means we can just kind of destroy these small armies. We'll reinforce this army here. Are you just all infantry? You are all infantry, so we'll march on you. You are not all infantry, but you actually have low, like low morale. So I think we can, we can, we'll be fine just attacking you. Okay, here comes the Belgians. They're going to take over Poland, which is nice. Uh, we have 54 stack infantry. You move north. You, you guys move over here. You're actually an actual army too. How have I not, how have I not utilized you at all? Also, we're building tanks! <gasps> tanks! Wonderful! So, 58, or 38, I should say. War score here. 6.3 from that battle. March over here. You march up north. Just have giant, giant death stacks, is apparently the way that we're going to be just winning this war. Marching 120,000 troops on a, on a two stack. Just engage every single army. Um, okay, so we need to reinforce here. We need to reinforce here. We have a lot, a lot of men at, at the uh, the front lines right now. We'll uh, deploy them very, very soon. So let's go reinforce this area. So break. Here, here, break. Maybe march one guy over here. So Belarus has gone for the white piece. That's fine. You know, it's just distracting German troops. That's really why I called a lot of those guys into the war, even to begin with. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I can't really supply a lot of these armies, which is a little bit of an issue. We can go attack this 19 stack. I mean, we're winning. I mean, the game the game says we're winning. It's just all infantry attacking each other. This would never would have happened in an actual like World War One scenario, where there was just pure infantry armies. Uh, that I'm pretty sure never actually happened. But that's gonna be a major war. 20 war score from that one. Are we, are we maxed at battles yet? We are. We are capped. The Congo of Karelia. I mean, I know we're at war with Finland, but, uh, you know, Congo Free State, that's not happening. Where does Karelia even have cores? The Congo Free State's actually occupying Fin- Oh my god, that's wonderful. But where does Karelia even have cores? They have one province with cores. I mean, I'm assuming that's probably, what, like a one war score? That's seven- No, okay, no. That's 72 war score? It's one province with 12,000 people in it. That seems like it's a bit much. We're going to occupy Berlin, so that's good. 
you know, we're getting a lot of our territory occupied, but that's fine. Whatever. Well, actually, not, that's not our territory. That's our allies' territory. That doesn't matter. That's the least important territory in the world. Um... Still the British. Can we get the French involved? No. I mean, are we still allies to the French? We are. Still odd, but, you know, that's okay. Oh, yeah, I guess we have military access through... Yeah, we have military access through the Swiss. We can just march through Switzerland. Um... Should we reinforce this? I mean, do you have actual, like, artillery and stuff? Or are you just all infantry as well? You're mostly it. Yeah, we'll send in some cannons, I guess. There we go, and that causes them to break off and retreat. So let's attack into here. Romania is rendered, that's fine. 62 can go on to the reinforcement there. Reinforce here. All we need to do is, like, win every single battle. Like, would they accept... They would... I mean, I could lose 155 prestige and just dismantle Germany. We will gain 2,767 prestige if we destroy... Oh my... That's a lot of prestige. That's an absurd amount of prestige. And we've already... We're actually number two now. We've actually destroyed... We're at 4,000 right now. Here's what we do. We, do we keep fighting to get... No, I, I think we just, like, forget that. We'll just, we'll just force Germany to dismantle their empire. Oh, Germany. We hardly knew you. We'll demobilize. Um, all of our armies. I'm so sorry for all of you men who just died now. But we'll send one, two, three, four. Four. One. Two. Three. Let me, we just have like a tank that can just kind of hang out for here for now. This is going to give us so many more sphere people as well. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a mess. I mean, the Netherlands are in our sphere now. I don't even know how that happened, but they're in our sphere now. Um, the United States still can't influence anything. Free of Berlin. Long live Italy. Um, we can just take everything. We will take what we can. Look at Germany. Oh, Germany, Germany, Germany. Number one in the world. We are the best. Incorporate Lithuania into the Baltic states. We can do that now. But the only thing they have is Digibooty. That's somehow 90% German. Uh, we will take what we can get. Do I even care about their colonial holdings? Like, what colonies did they have? Other than this, did they have any colonies? Yeah, I guess I have no interest in their colonies. They can- someone else can have Digibooty. But we will incorporate- Yeah, and we'll get more if we- Yeah, okay, so that was actually the, the, uh, the best choice. So there we go, we've incorporated Lithuania into the Baltic Duchy. Sadly, we can't get this territory from Belarus. But that is fine. Austria is now under the sphere of the United Kingdom, for some reason. There we go, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Number one in the world, baby. We are the best. 7,000 points, almost all of it from Prestige. But I am completely A-OK -okay with that. Can we build more Dreadnoughts? I mean, we can. But, uh, what was that, four more? There we go. Schleswig gets an alliance. Sure, why? Well, everybody gets an alliance. All of these guys are Polish as well. There should just be like a greater... Why is this under British influence? Maybe it's because if I actually took the... Uh, the four infantry... Or four infamy, it would actually give me these guys in their sphere. And does Germany have any... They don't even have any cores on any of this stuff either, which is awesome. So there we go. Poor, poor Germany. I'm just kidding. I don't care about Germany at all. They lost fair and, st fair and square. And these are all Polish... Polish countries as well. Like, this guy's Polish. Like, they should all just be incorporated into a greater Polish state. 
which we can't really do because Poland's under German control, but you know, it's just kind of disappointing. Okay, so, like, what's what's Russia doing? They have cores and stuff, but I'm pretty sure Russia's not going to attack any of those guys. Um, were you not at war with Germany? No, you're actually, you're allied to Germany. Okay, so there's annex the Philippines. So Uzbekistan... Yeah, so in a few days, we should be able to just ban the Germans. Yeah, this, I'm sorry, German. I know you got to like 92, but you know, we can't let you uh, continue that any longer. So we'll go down to Yugoslavia, we'll go down on uh, Ukraine. Uzbekistan will ban the Japanese. Put some points into them. Uh, Turkmenistan will ban the Japanese. Put a point into them. These guys, we don't need to worry. Anybody really with Germany, we don't need to worry about. Slovakia. Oh, Belgium's not even a great power anymore. Oh, no, yes, they are. The Netherlands are in our sphere. You're in our sphere. Uh, Czechoslovakia, Bulgaria. I, I like Bulgaria. Um, Belarus, I also kind of enjoy. So, we'll, you know, we'll just influence as many people as we can. And it is 1919, so the war actually ended before we even need to do any more of these, um... These final attacks. But it's fine, um... We're definitely going to need to have to reorganize the army. Uh, recruitment map mode is looking a little bit bad. So let's get those soldiers ready. Record soldiers basically everywhere. Just to get the, uh, the troops back up to where they need to be. Record soldiers... Is this, is this also Istria? No, it's not, which is actually a little bit annoying. Let's encourage soldiers here. Let's encourage soldiers in Sardinia. And I guess we'll do them in uh, Istria as well. We're definitely going to reorganize our armies. Now that we're also building tanks and stuff. So let's see. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You're missing an infantry. Uh, this is gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna do that between episodes. Definitely not gonna do it right now because that seems like it'd be a bit much. What we can do is we can get rid of the engineers uh, and then we will replace them with tanks. And I wonder who, who's actually building tanks right now. Let's go to trade. Who is building these tanks? The United Kingdom. We're buying British tanks. That's fine. Niger. We can make them into a state because you know why not. It really seems weird as to people that we're making in the states. And we're still fourth on industry, which is kind of uh, disappointing. Yeah, we'll combine these guys. And, you know, it's good to basically be the... I mean, other than the United Kingdom and the United States are really the only powers left in the world. I mean, the United States is second. Britain is fourth. I think Germany might still be third. They are still, even after that war, they're still third. They have 30 prestige. They're ranked 47th. But that's fine. Also, we're going to be making a lot of money off of... Oh, yeah. Decreased military spending. At least a little bit. We can cut taxes. Because look at this. Germany is... Uh, actually, only 804. I was actually expecting a bit more from the Germans. Is this supposed to be like 10%? I feel like 10% of... Ger or it's like 10 or 20% of Germany's taxes... I feel like that would be higher than 800. But what do I know? Okay, so... We need to also build more, um, more ports and stuff, too. Are these... Can all these guys be upgraded? No. So the green ones are... Well, the green ones aren't actually even upgraded. So it's kind of lying. Anyone that doesn't have, like, the metal shipyard is definitely not the right level. So, you know, we'll upgrade basically all of these. We will go into, I guess, our African holdings. Expand them there. Expand. Expand. It's expensive. It's definitely expensive to do this. Expand, expand. But, like, we need those dreadnoughts. We need to have even higher military points than we already do. Expand up here. Uh, these guys are not expanded. Is there a hockey to expand? I'm not too sure, but... I wish there was. That'd be very, very convenient. 
We've already spent like a ton of money on this. So expand, expand, expand in Madagascar. Do we not even have like a level one? Well, expand. Is there not? Why can't we build a only one per state? Oh no, this is also considered South Madagascar somehow. But uh, we'll build it. We'll build it there. Build them in Somalia. Build them in uh, Smallland. No, that's a fort. But that's fine. We'll build forts as well. Cause why not? Oh, this one actually didn't even have a naval base at all, which is a little bit sad. But one in Cambodia. I mean, we also have a ton of Pacific Islands as well. But I don't really, I don't really want to mess around with those. Also, there are two in I think North America that we would also want to up, up, upgrade. That was actually already level 5. Wonderful. But I do think that this is going to be the end of this video. So thanks everybody for watching. My name's been Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember the thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, you can write something down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.